In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use two different points on a line to find the equation of a line in the slope-intercept form. So it's quite likely that you've already watched our previous video on the point-slope form. In it, we go through an example towards the latter half of the video, where we use two points in a line to find out the linear equation in the point-slope form. In this video, however, we're going to use the same two points to confirm that we can also find the same linear equation through the use of the slope-intercept form instead. So, the two points presented to us are 1, 3, and negative 3, 5. All right. And since we want to use the slope-intercept form of the linear equation this time, let's just bring that up. Great! Now, right off the bat, we know we can use the two points to find the slope of this equation. This part is similar to how we went about finding the linear equation in our point-slope form video. All we need to do is use our slope formula here and plug in our numbers to get the following. Simplifying this, gives us 2 over negative 4, which simplifies down to negative 1 over 2. Good! So let's just plug that in for m. Now we've got y, x, and b as our remaining variables. Hmm, and since we have two different points, why not use either of them to find the value of b? Since these are two points of the same line, either of them should yield the same b value, aka y-intercept value. So we'll just go ahead and use this one. Now, if we substitute 1 and 3 into the x and y variables, we would get the following. Adding both sides by negative 1 over 2 gives us the final value of b equal to 3.5. And there it is! We can plug this back into our equation for b, and we'd get our linear equation in the slope-intercept form as the following. Great! And just to show that we could have easily used the other coordinate as well to yield the same linear equation, let's just try plugging in this point into the equation instead. So simplifying the multiplication of negative 1 over 2 and negative 3 gives us 3 over 2, which is the same as 1.5. And subtracting both sides by 1.5 gives us a final b value of 3.5. So we can also plug this back into our equation for b and see that we got the exact same answer in the slope-intercept form as we did here. Awesome! So again, we encourage you to take a look at the second half of the point-slope form video if you'd like to see how the same equation is derived in the point-slope form instead. Well then, that's it for this video. We hope you keep practicing some more questions and we will see you guys in the next lesson.